On the eve of election night 2020, the presidential and Senate races in Arizona are tightening. So will Arizona be flipped blue? Cronkite News reporter Sean Rice joins us now with the latest poll numbers on these contested races. Sean. President Trump has closed the gap on Democratic challenger Joe Biden here in Arizona. According to Data Orbital, the candidates are now within one percentage point of each other when it comes to winning Arizona and the state's 11 electoral college votes. Of the 550 general election voters surveyed, 45.3% said they'd vote for Trump and 45.9% would elect Joe Biden. Just 0.6% of voters said they were firmly undecided. Data Orbital suggests the gap has closed because Republican voters are coming back to Trump. Plus, the 12 to 13 percent of Republican votes that Biden was taking is now down to 7.5 percent. George Kaloff, the president of Data Orbital, gave us his prediction for both races today. My prediction right now is that the presidential race we have it changed from toss up to now leans Republicans. We do believe that President Trump will take it. We think he has the momentum in his back and the way that the numbers are lining up still favors him. I think it's his race to lose. And I believe on the U.S. Senate race, uh, we are taking that prediction from a leans Democrat to now a pure toss up. But we also feel like the momentum is there to be able to allow Senator McSally to cross the finish line. The survey also shows Martha McSally is receiving 46% of the vote and Democrat Mark Kelly is polling at 47.1% with 2.6% still undecided. Similar to the presidential race, the switch in trends can be attributed to the increased Republican traction as we get within 24 hours of election night. Millions of Americans have already cast their ballots ahead of this election day, smashing mail-in and early voting records and raising election officials' hopes that the eye-popping early vote totals will erase the potential problems, chaos, and conflict at the polls tomorrow. In the studio, Sean Rice, Cronkite News.